Uh, my name is David Gleason. I'm a writer, director, producer of Atmos Forces, a feature film. Okay. And a movie movement. All right. What, what do you mean by a movie movement? Well, it's it's a brand of I'm gonna readjust a trilogy, a trilogy of uh, three movies. No, you're fine. Okay. Um, TV series, video game, and a comic book. So it's a brand. Right? Okay. And the movement part is it's... Omnimedia. Yeah. Um, we're doing a lot with the community. Like what Rosalie was mentioning, we're, we're doing a massive outreach for veterans and working with okay. veterans companies, organizations, yep. um, homeless, and recovery, which is a major part of the storyline mm -hmm. of, of Atmos Forces. Mm -hmm. Atmos is atmosphere, right? So Atmos Forces, it's... Uh, the sci-fi element is angelic and demonic warfare. Okay. So it's pretty out there. All right. I'm an out there kind of guy. I, I, it, I, I already want to see it. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not a super out there kind of guy, but it sounds, it sounds like a fantastic story that I think we can all sink our teeth into. So It's pretty cool. I've gotten great feedback just yep. from the teaser trailer that we already have on our okay. site. So. Where, where can we see that? Uh, go to atmosforces.com. Okay. Atmosforces.com. And we've got a whole list of... Uh, all of those brands, but we have also the movie trailer proof of mm -hmm. concept. Okay. And the people involved with it. I've, I've been blessed with some incredible talent from people who worked with the Marvel folks and Sony yeah. and yeah, I'm all pic kinds of I'm cool picturing stuff like it. that, right? I'm picturing it. Yeah. It, it. It looks like Marvel Cinematic Universe quality kind of stuff. So totally blessed by that. And it's and but I'm an indie, right? Mm -hmm. It's an independent. It's gonna be I believe it's gonna be the largest independent production made. Mm -hmm. And the way the market has changed, which mm -hmm. got to do a shout out to Kurt, because mm -hmm. uh, he's got my money. Fusion Forty Two, man, I will tell you, and Tech Alley, these guys are great. But Kurt is spot on. Like the market's already changed since I've been just doing the development this year. Yeah, right. It moves fast. It moves fast, and and now we're in the age of the independent. Mm -hmm. You know, because now you can put put stuff out there, and you can market it. You can make money on yourself, and. Do your thing outside the system. Well, so let's let's get into one of my pet peeves for a little bit because oh, good. because you know the big the big media companies, mm -hmm. the streamers, the networks, sure, they all want proven IP, sure, right. And I heard I heard somebody say maybe about a year ago, how many times do we need to see Batman's origin story and see Mar see Martha Ken Martha Wayne's pearls fall onto the street, right? <laughs> sure. And I love Batman. I love all that IP stuff, but I feel like maybe we're missing out on some new creative ideas. Absolutely. And can we can we give the give the MCU treatment the the you know the the Walking Dead treatment the you know the the great things we did for some of that IP that exists and we all love right. for, and have loved for years. Right. Can we? Can we give some new ideas that same push, even if we don't put the same money behind it, that same love and care into creating something new? So, so my rant is over nice. now. Nice, but that's a good rant. Yeah, uh, I think a lot of us have been frustrated with that for a long time. Yeah, um, I think the cool thing about it is the market is defining a change toward reaching a solution to that issue. I just want to see some yeah. new stuff. Well, independent movie makers now. And it's about, it's about, you said the IP, and, and you know, I, I saw your guest earlier about the SEO, which mm -hmm. is awesome. But the truth is, all of those people who own those rights, mm -hmm. they want to take your stuff anyhow. Yeah. Right? And, and they're locked in. Mm -hmm. Right? Where independent filmmakers with new ideas yep. can go do some new cool stuff. Well, and, and you can create right? some new IP. This sounds... Absolutely. Atmos Forces sounds like, I mean, this could, like you said, it's Omnimedia. It sounds like it could be... Like it, and, and never taking away from the other things that are going on out there that people right. love. It's something new that can come in and have that kind of force behind its IP it from the things we all know and love. Well, that's very good, very intuitive. I hope he's. I'm pretty sure he's right. If you uh, if sure. you need a spokesman or a host for an event, hey, you're in there. Call at your boy. You're in there, man. That sounds good because that is what it is. Look, uh, there are no new things under the sun, but if you can take your own creative vision to something and, like you said, change it and morph it into a new concept. That's what we've done. And it is, it, when, everybody wants to hear a high concept, right? So this is something along the lines of Highlander, only Avengers-esque. Okay. Right? Biblically. Highlander, and I don't need to watch it 17 times to understand what actually happened. No, no. It, there's some. Because I, I love some, Highlander as well. Oh, but, man, yeah. But I did have to watch it like 17 times <laughs> to understand what I was seeing. Multi-layered. 
Uh, we have a few layers, but okay. we have enjoyable action, meaningful uh, content, and it's based on a character, John Bennett, who's a, a Marine who got hit in Afghanistan, his third tour. Mm-hmm. We come into his life in Vegas, and um, he used to be a race car kind of guy mm-hmm. before he joined the Marines when the towers fell. Yeah. So um, we come into his life when he's already struggling with PTSD on a severe mm-hmm. case level because this is a there's a huge veterans element to the picture. Okay. And the and the, the meaning behind it. Well, that's that's meaningful to me because I'm a 20 year Air Force veteran. So. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. My son's there right now. Yeah. My son's just, Air Force right now. Yeah. Yeah. My dad was 20 years. Where is years. he stationed? He well, right now he's trying for to be a PJ down in Texas. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Um, very much P- PJs for the folks who don't know. Those are our pararescue guys and girls now, yeah. and they're the ones who jump out of airplanes and jump out of helicopters and rescue <laughs> folks, whether they are in trouble uh, and yeah. need some help or they're like behind enemy lines and need to get rescued. They gotta and, go do it. Yeah, so they are they are the they are part of the special forces of the U.S. Air Force. Yes, sir. And um, they are badass guys and girls. Shout out to them. Shout out to the PJs. And, and I, I told them, look, I, I didn't mean to make it, but uh, my guy's a Marine in the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, our lead character. Characters uh, Ben Graham. He's done a few things, but he's more of a geopolitical figure. Mm-hmm. And then we've got a few other excellent names that I can't really just say or hate. Right. Just promise me in the second episode of the second movie, you get an Air Force guy in. There. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a bunch. Great, can't we're, wait. We're actually gonna have veterans from all different parts of the military hired on to do the production. That's a big part of it for me. Are you going to do that production here in Las Vegas? All of it. All of it. That's what I wanted. I, mean, I didn't it. think it was going to be all of it. But, no, no, no. But into all of it. it. Uh, well, we may sneak over to Georgia for a few things as we got their crew to come over here. Well, and, you know, if you guys uh, get an opportunity to go to some cool locations, it, I mean, go. Don't, yeah. don't feel like you've got to do it here. No, and you know what? Those are former Special Forces guys. Yeah. So they brought an element that was just unreal to the production. Check out the video on atmosforces.com. Yep. I'm going to do you'll, it as soon as we're done here today. You'll see the, the, the intensity they brought to it. And we got a couple of great lead actors involved, and I was just, I was just blessed to have a great crew, fantastic, and and people to work with me on the vision that are just extraordinary artists. Well, when you do your when you do your premiere, promise me you'll let us come live stream Dude, from your come premiere. Come on, man, let's go. All right, I'm ready to go right now. All right, we, we're raising capital, but we're we already have some interest, and we just finished the site about Michael. And MCM in marketing finished it about four days ago, mm-hmm. so we're just now there. With all this other stuff that's on there, we're mm-hmm. just now getting it out there. So we have an area where you can contribute for pre-tickets and mm-hmm. pre-downloads. Yep. Where 10% of yep. all of that gross goes to the Fatherhood Project mm-hmm. here in Vegas. Okay. Um, goes to uh, Dads in Schools. Mm-hmm. And to we're, we're looking at a few veterans organizations that really do what I think is major impact to help for mm-hmm. homeless so we're going to be all of that. We're going to help all those organizations. That's why it's a movement. Yeah, and I want to get you. Uh, I want to get you at our next next Vets in Tech event talking about Wonderful. what you're doing because I'm a big believer that a lot of times when people talk about tech, they think Silicon Valley, they think software, right. they think they think you know they were first to the money. You know, and all that. So um, but, but let's that not way, let's but, not forget uh, about hardware. Let's not forget about in Vegas the, all the tech that goes into sports and entertainment here. Massive. Let's not forget about all the all the great people that need to be a part of that tech to make. To make, make Las work. Vegas happen, right? Absolutely. So we want to. Well, uh, let's exchange some information before you go, sure. and we'll uh, we'll sure. get you connected up with um, our net with uh, some lo- some some Vegas vets and tech events. I think hey, that's I'm honored, really exciting. Uh, and it's a pleasure. We'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll be right. meeting and talking on several occasions. How much are you guys so. looking to raise? Okay, so the first raise we're going after for the first stage is like in between three hundred thousand can get us launched in a good way. Okay, um, but the actual production raise is ten point six. Okay. Um, the the above the line for talent is four point four, and then we have a fifteen million for distribution that we're going to work ourselves, okay. right? For ourselves distribution. Okay. If we don't have to do that, we could go with Angel. We could go with Lionsgate. Okay. Right. But we're going to market to. We're going to do the Mel Gibson passion marketing concept okay. along with SEO guy. Okay. Right. But we're going to go reach over one hundred fifty thousand different organizations. Okay. You're going to be able to shoot this for. Ten something plus oh. four something with talent and production. You know what? What's it happened? So, I'm, I'm just. It no, sounds no. like to me. No, I, and you know what? I already, you know, we still have eight minutes of footage that we already shot yep. besides that video that are going to be able to go into the movie. Okay. And I got. I, we have talent and high tech, and what I'm finding out is the special effects. If you, 
if you have your VFX guy on set, it makes everything go fast with tracking. And you can just follow along. And that's what really took the money afterwards on the okay. post, in the post. It's, so you and guys are approaching this this production differently than a lot of totally than different than traditional VFX totally production. Totally different. Okay. Totally different. And I'm I'm buying it more now. Well, you can check on the video. You'll see. But that's after we're going to bring people in before now and really mm -hmm. roll with it. Okay. But yeah, and we might uh, we might want to follow this along as you guys are doing stuff. I'm so. telling you, the other kind of cool thing that I'm very certain I know people are loving is everybody involved in the production. I'm giving one unit of the producership to them as being an associate producer in the picture. Excellent. Plus paying them. Excellent. Right? So they own part of it forever. Excellent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone involved. And I Points think, on the back end, as they say in the business. Yeah. And and as as money comes in, maybe even on the middle end yeah. while it's growing, right? Yeah. And then they can do whatever they want with it. But it, it goes to trying to create an environment where we can help not just those guys and small businesses, but veterans helping the homeless and the youth so that they can do their own business. We can get them with insurance. We can help them with mm -hmm. meds. That's to like, I'm, I'm sure Rosalie knows is there's meds that are extraordinary that are not through the typical system right. that we're going to be utilizing. Well, I, yeah. And that, right? uh, that and we can't get through the VA system. Exactly. So. Exactly. So we're doing all that. That's why it is a movement and for the community. Okay. It's going to go global, but we're starting in Vegas. I believe it. So, yeah. um, so what's coming up next? What should we? What should we all? Be, I mean, we, we're all going to go to the website and watch the trailer. Right, right, right. What should we all be watching for? Well, number one, we love input because we we take we take opinions and uh, the market changes so fast. We love input as much as possible and mm -hmm. work with as it goes. Um, the video game development is a big deal now. That's a big part of it. I'm finding mm -hmm. out. Um, probably do better than the film. I, I don't doubt it, but also, you know, in, in some cases, gets more expensive than the films. So. Yes, no, that's right. I have yet to find that one out yet. But um, coming up next, we're going to do a whole bunch of short uh, one-minute, two-minute clips mm -hmm. from marketing with the people behind the scenes, which okay. we already captured some of. Love it. That we're start doing, and also a few of the stuff of the of the picture itself in the All series. Right. So. All right, what was your name again? David Gleason. David Gleason. I'm going to give you my card. If you've got a card, I do. Let's let's, let's swap these out because we need to talk. Let's again. do it, man. I love what you're we doing. Need to, we need to get you on uh, an episode of my other podcast called The Leader's Mindset. Okay. And uh, talk about all the the leadership and business aspects of what let's you're doing. Let's do it because we got a bunch of product placement potential, right? Even in the marketing. Yep. And of course, um, it's a PPM raise for twenty five thousand per unit, mm -hmm. and it's a five hundred six B Reg D fundraise for investors. Yep. So it's so. David Gleason. Yep. Atmosforces dot com. Yes, sir. Anywhere else they can reach you that you want them to find you at? Um, I think that's a good place to start. Kay. There's more that we we're on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We got all that coming. Yep. Got social media going. Shout out to Freedom Ricardo doing my social media and the coffee house, and he's showing me downtown. Which I think there's a very good chance I would, we'll I would have a presence down I would, there. I would love to see most of that movie we're happen gonna, in downtown Las we're, Vegas. We're, I'm thinking there's going to be at least a major social media podcast presence, and that would rock with you, man. Uh, let me know how I can help. Yeah. So, yeah. Atmosforces.com. Go watch the trailer. Join the movement. Join the get movement. Get involved. It sounds like there's lots of opportunity to get involved in yeah. in making this happen. Yeah. And it sounds like it'll be incredibly rewarding if you do. So, awesome. David, thanks for awesome. joining us today. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Anytime. All right.